Hi, I'm Wesley Morris, and I have dragged my friend Meredith Goldstein down to my Take Two lair, where we will now discuss uh, our romance rumble. That's right. We're we're competing against each other uh, uh, to see whose favorite romantic movie is the best of all, as determined by you, our readers. Yes, we've put the movies in a sort of rigged NCAA bracket situation, right. which may make you roll your eyes. It's it's Feel an effective to, way to, to roll them to to get to one movie, I, I suppose. Um, and we will screen that movie December tenth. So please join us, um, and so, hopefully my movie will win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that when you start trying to bring well, the smack talk. Some of it's it's if we're, it's if we're hard going for me. For smack talk, I would say that some of the movies on your list might be a bit dated in the sense <laughs> that they're like my grandparents' favorite romantic movie. Love is timeless. Love is timeless. And that a movie made in 1941 or 1942 is still just as romantic and as heartbreaking, you know, one entire grandparent generation later. But is it as romantic as Dirty Dancing? See, this is where we this is where we should also disclaim that I actually don't think Dirty Dancing is a romantic movie. Really? I think it's sexy. It is a sexy and, movie. And, and that we've got two, I've got a Patrick Swayze movie and you have a Patrick Swayze movie. Yes, you have ghosts. I think my Patrick Swayze movie is not only sexy, it is also romantic. Well, I would love to see Twilight. Talk about two um, romantic, sexy teenage movies. I have movies. a pocket right here in this jacket that I'm going to now vomit into. Listen, it's... Do you find that movie romantic? I do. I would also say that <laughs> that you know, Purple Rose of Cairo, my Woody Allen film, you know, uh, a guy jumping out of the screen. You know, obviously this does not happen in reality, unfortunately. But to me, that's even more romantic than than your Woody Allen, even though your Woody Allen, Annie Hall, is is sort of rooted in a, a reality of romance. Yes. No. I mean, I think that what makes a movie like Annie Hall work is the idea that that this woman is irresistible, not only to Woody Allen, but to us. Right. And she's enduringly irresistible. Well, I hope you're all happy with our 32 choices and can pick a fabulous winner from my list. That you'd really like to <laughs> sit through on a, on a Friday night. Yeah. So, I mean, that's it. That's Those are the rules. Those are the movies. We are Wesley and Meredith, uh, and we'll see you on December 10th.